First, a new federal lawsuit targets the far-right groups Proud Boys and Oath Keepers over their role in the Capitol riot. Many of those named already face criminal charges and some are from the Tampa Bay area. Justin Shecker is live for us outside federal courthouse in Tampa with the latest. Justin. Jen and Keith, good evening to you both. This lawsuit calls what happened on January 6th, quote, a coordinated act of domestic terrorism. The District of Columbia wants financial compensation for injuries to police officers, property damage, and other costs connected to the deadly riot. As the mob of former President Trump supporters stormed the Capitol on January 6th, investigators say Graydon Young was part of this military-style stack that snaked its way into the rotunda. The Sarasota County business owner is already cooperating with federal prosecutors as part of his plea deal in the Oath Keepers conspiracy case. Young is one of 10 Floridians named in the D.C. Attorney General's lawsuit against both the Oath Keepers and Proud Boys. The suit seeks to hold the far-right extremist groups and their members accountable for the violence that interrupted Congress during the certification of President Joe Biden's election victory. It cites a post-Civil War law written to combat violence and intimidation by the Ku Klux Klan. Last month, a similar lawsuit led to a $26 million verdict against white supremacist groups for their roles in the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. There's certainly a track record recently, um, and even if you go back you know, back into the into the 1980s of civil lawsuits really being an effective way of uh, crippling, you know, the, the, the financial lifeblood of some of these some of these domestic uh, hate groups. John Lewis is a research fellow with the GW University program on extremism that is tracking the nearly 700 criminal cases connected to the Capitol riot and insurrection. 75 defendants are from Florida more than any other state. As we get close to the one year anniversary, we are seeing progress both on the, the, the DOJ investigative prosecutorial side and from the congressional side. We're, we're seeing a lot of a lot of subpoenas being being carried out, a lot of interviews behind closed doors of, you know, planners of January 6th. And the Democratic congressmen and police officers who fought the Capitol riots on January 6th have filed similar lawsuits against the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.